Hey y'all, coming to you from the headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the Grand National Roadster Show in Pomona, California, and I found a 68 Charger I think y'all gonna like. Let's take a look at it. What about that? That is just way, way cool. And I had seen the car at SEMA, um, and I was I really wanted to shoot it, but it was in the kicker audio booth, I believe. It was in a it was in an audio, I'm pretty sure a, a stereo system booth. And they had this like tarp over the top of it that you know like a canopy maybe to keep the sound down or whatever and uh, it just made the car really dark and hard to shoot how about that no need to touch the paint just touch the button and you shut the trunk and i was disappointed because i knew y'all would love this one and if you didn't i knew i loved it and so i really wanted to shoot it but i didn't get an opportunity and then uh out here at the grand national roadster show it was uh there it was and it was actually better because you can see that, you know, we got some good sunshine and uh, you were able to see the brilliance of the paint and the luster of the chrome. All one off. Everything one off. One off, one off, one off. Everything's one off custom on this car. Homemade, that's what he was telling me. And I tried to set up an interview. It just didn't work out. I apologize because I knew there was a lot to hear about on this car. So, you just get to hear it from me. I love how they left the turn signals in it. These wheels, oh my goodness, will you look at those. Those are absolutely gorgeous. How tight they fit up in there. Just a great stance on this thing. They nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. And for all the work they did, they left the door handles and the mirrors on it. Look at those rear wheels. Holy smokes. Those are cool. Just the whole car. And like I said, look how it fits in that wheel well. Very, very nice. And these cars were cool from the factory, right? And I don't know any male that came out of the 70s. A little peek at the trunk. I guess it's the amplifiers. You know, I don't, I don't know the difference between a big block and a small block, obviously. So I don't know even less about stereo equipment. But that's what I think you got going on there. Either way, very nice. Everything's finished out and nicely done. Aesthetically positioned so it looks good, you know? Listen to me using big words. And I thought this was cool because it's a tribute to the American muscle car. A thank you. And, uh, you know, to pay respect to, to where, it, where it began and where it started. And, you know, that to me I thought was really cool. I got to give them props for that. Especially in today's climate. Right? Look at that. One off, one off, one off. Taillight lenses, taillights, valance, rear bumper, diffuser underneath. One off, one off, one off, one off everything all molded back there just an insane amount of work and up underneath the rear tried to shoot up underneath the front but you could, it's so low you really can't see nothing it's paneled up there but man that's beautiful right there and it's not painted it's just bare you know kind of a bare metal look give me a shot from over top a lot of times you don't get to see that shot and you can see a lot of work not on this one see any work on this one and that paint was just man it was popping and the interior room for four no that's a cockpit you gotta love that just beautifully laid out nicely done you know some nice stitching on the door panels i like that that you didn't get a, a big high back recaro seat in a car you know that maybe could have had one roll bar there's like a hundred hours of stitching just on the just on the stitching of that roll bar insane but man again look at that paint what an awesome color i wouldn't change a thing on this one and i know y'all been waiting twin turbo v10 and again look at the tolerance in the back on that between the motor and the firewall it's just insane and look at that this beautiful look how they did the radiator and you know it I'm, i mean what do you say I mean, if that's not art, I don't know. I, well, I don't probably know art, but to me, that's art. That's just gorgeous. All one off, all hand laid. They did. They did all this over there in Sweden. Must have long winters <laughs> in Sweden. <laughs> I don't remember what they said. Five years, seven years. It was a long time, but as you can see, time well spent. And if the if the trunk's going to come down with a button, then the hood must do the same. And that, to me, is pretty impressive because you know that's a heavy hood. And that thing comes down smooth. I'm sure he was holding his breath right there, but whoop, went right in. 
No, I just, I mean, I wouldn't change a thing on this one. I absolutely love it. Steering wheel all billet. The gauges the way they're laid out. Six speed, I'm guessing. I like that the gauge cluster, the, the housing there matches the tail lights. No, just everything's placed out nice. Everything's clean. They nailed it. Absolutely. They just nailed it on this one. I'm a fan. I like the uh, how the console runs through there and it's got that uh, aluminum. And the gear shift is aluminum. I like the little like Mopar emblem in the seats. I love bucket seats in the back. That's cool. And of course, you can't go nowhere without, you know, your boys having uh, cup holders in the back. <laughs> right on? No, that thing's ready to rock and roll. Clean. You know? For as crazy as it is, for as many mods, clean. So there you go. From the Grand National Roadster Show 2018 and 1968 Charger. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.